All right, fantastic. Good morning, world. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, beautiful community. Uh, it's been a beautiful morning after all. Today is Tuesday. Uh, the, today is Tuesday uh, in the beautiful month of February. Actually, Tuesday, which happens to be the 8th of February, 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to say uh, welcome to this morning beautiful program of West Secret Mindset Mentorship program uh, class uh, remember this is a class that is really going to help you get all the necessary resources and that will empower you mentally to live the very best of your life and the way those information are going to come they're going to educate equip and you know uh, empower you so that you can be and gain mastery over every uh, about the issues of life, helping you to build what I call a, a resilience uh, mindset, which I call uh, PMA, positive mental attitude. The way you do things, the way they kind of approach you out to life, especially when it comes to uh, you know success. And that's exactly what we are doing on this program. So we encourage you to be part of what we do. Uh, but let's get into it today. It's another beautiful day. And you know, let's just set the ball rolling, all right? I'm super excited to be here again, super excited. Uh, to have all the beautiful people in our community. Uh, I can see my co-host, the person of uh, Coach Dan is also here and our beautiful community, they are all present. Those connecting via our live stream, we want to say welcome and good morning. Well, uh, wherever you're tuning in from, it is morning here in Lagos, Nigeria. And let's get into why we're here. It's your regular host, Dr. Afalabi Olatunji. So we started a teaching series yesterday so now you can actually take responsibility and stop the blame. So a little bit today, we're tweaking that a little bit, all right, uh, to tell you that you should accept that responsibility, take responsibility for your life. So how do you assume responsibility for your life? And these are the things we're going to be dissecting uh, this morning. Uh, we started yesterday, you know, with powerful nugget, powerful insight on how you can actually assume and gain mastery uh, in terms of you uh, taking responsibility. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be, you know, taking you deeper on how you can actually take responsibility for your life. So are you ready? If you're ready, let's make this happen. If you're ready, let's make it count and uh, grab your notepad, pen, and let's go into it. So in case you're driving, you don't want to do that. Uh, just pay attention, listen. Uh, the video will be made available just like we did for the one of yesterday. And we're able to share it, disseminate on all our social media platforms uh, so you can actually have access to it. All right. So whether you join it via live stream, it doesn't matter. The value will still be there and you can always have access to it. As someone said, I can't hear you. Uh, check your mic. I believe you can check your mic. And can you all hear me, please? Am I, am I loud, loud and clear? Loud and clear. Fantastic. So, Kazim, I think you might want to check your mic. Uh, check your mic if your mic is, uh, uh, you know, connect via audio device. Okay, that's someone that is joining us via our, you know, okay, so it's clear right now. All right. So, thank you, man. All right. So, uh, yesterday uh, we talked about accepting responsibility. Uh, there is something very, very, very important or very, something very, very uh, uh, powerful that we all need to know. And, you know, it means that accepting responsibility uh, is the greatest form of maturity. Now, when you assume responsibility, you take charge of your life. You said, I am the one responsible for me. I am the one responsible for all, you know, my success, and my, you know, whatever thing that has happened to you. And many of us, we go out there uh, to start to blame people. In fact, you know, it's so funny that when you look at people, we want to look for who to cast the blame on. We just want to look for who to, you know, push blame on. And, and that's kind of childish. And that's not going to help you mentally uh, to gain mastery over the issues. So when you first start to assume it, when you first tell yourself, you know what, uh, I am responsible for me. Whatever happened to me, I should be responsible for, you know, I am the one, nobody else, not my sister, not my brother, not my uncle, not my, you know, the village people, like we say here in this part of the world. Tell yourself, I am the one that is responsible for me. Tell yourself that, how can I get better? How can I, because the moment you make that decision, you know, I'm, I'm telling you this, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you from experience, you know, I've had some downtime where I had to assume it, even when I don't even understand what is called personal development. I, I started assuming responsibility for my life as at the age of 18. 
I took responsibility. I told myself, I would do this uh, to just take charge of my life. And that was how my, you know, I started you know, my life from the age of 18 was when I assumed responsibility. I remember it was a time where I was supposed to go study law uh, you know, uh, in, in La Sudan. And I had the opportunity of joining the, the Navy and you know, my parent called me that fateful year and they told me, Afolabi, you know, you know, you had admission to go study law. And at the same time, you've been picked a number one in the state, Ogun State that time, you know, I, I became number one. I was selected to be number one among, you know, thousands of people were just, I think they picked about 20 of us. And, you know, I saw my name in the newspaper. Somebody brought it. I've even forgotten about it after the recruitment exercise. And, you know, they called, they brought this. And, you know, it was 24th of that fateful year, I think it was about 2000, uh, you know, yeah. So that fateful year, so they, they brought that newspaper and they say, you know what, you are being called and your name is number one. And I saw it there and I was excited. And I'm like, in fact, I told myself, I said, if my name was number two, I wouldn't have gone for it. But you know, it, it isn't, it, it's not about, uh, about whether your name is one or two, but I was called, you know, at that tender age uh, in a meeting, uh, my dad, my mom called me up and they told me, uh, you know, what do you want to do? You know, you've got admission to go study law and uh, you have another opportunity. So choose what you want. You know, I remember, you know, at that age, I took a decision. I said, they said, when you join the Navy, you can still have the opportunity to study more and, you know, still, you know, be, you know, train yourself more to be more educated. And I said, okay. And if I need more degrees, more education, then I think I can actually achieve that uh, while, I, you know, while I'm in the Navy. And that decision, ladies and gentlemen, is what has informed uh, of who I am right now, uh, because I took responsibility for my life. I took responsibility for my future. So I started taking responsibility, even though I don't know what I was going into then. So assuming responsibility, it is very, very important. Now, don't look at it that, oh, who am I going to blame? Don't look at it. Who am I going to shift this blame at? Don't look at it that uh, so so person, although the truth is that some people are, you know, they, they come after, you know, people, but, you know, don't let that be a mentality where you have to have or, you know, you have to wear all the time. You, your thoughts should create the kind of life you want. You know, take it and say, I will be responsible for myself notwithstanding. So this morning, I will just be teaching us a few, very few tips on what we need to do on how to, you know, take responsibility for our life. So first, you need to understand that the willingness, you know, to take responsibility means that the willingness to be accountable your willingness to be accountable. How do you, uh, you know, how do you assume to be accountable for everything that you do? You become accountable when you decide to take responsibility. You are accountable for your success. You are accountable for your short. You are accountable for all that happened to you. So you are pretty much accountable for everything. You know, what are, not, not looking at somebody, not trying to cast blame. We, we're so good at casting blame. We're so good at shifting blame. We're so good at telling somebody, hey, it, it is them that cost it, if not because of you. A great leader has to be able to tell him or herself that, you know what, whatever has happened here, I am responsible for it. Whether I make success out of it, I am responsible for it. People can be, you know, the cause of it, but don't, don't try to look for who to shift blame at. And we are so used to that in this part, you know, as humans, not even in this part as humans. We so used to that. We, we don't want to be accountable. So when you assume responsibility, it means that you are accountable for everything that is happened to you. So you'll be able to put yourself on the line. You tell me that I am putting myself on the line for others because I am putting myself on the line for my family. I am putting myself on the line for my finances. I am putting myself on the line for others to to, you know, to achieve greater success. And it isn't easy, like what we do on this program, myself, Coach Dan, and you know, the host of other leaders and other great coaches, uh, guess what happened? It is not easy because if it is easy, everybody's gonna do it. If it is easy, everybody's going to be, you know, doing the same thing. You know, somebody, you know, on Sunday, I mean, someone in charge, one of these uh, person that has been following the program, I think join us by our, our Facebook live stream. And this person said, I don't know how you're doing it. You've been consistent. 
and I've been following your program. Most of the time, this person does share, you know, the, the page uh, to to uh, other groups and other, you know, to the friends too on the Facebook. And this person said, "How are you doing it? Are you getting paid?" And I'm like, "No, I'm not getting paid. You know, we're not getting paid. We're just doing it. It's just, uh, you know, we're just sacrificing and we we just laying ourselves, we're putting ourselves on the line." for others to succeed, for others to have a different philosophy, to have a different mindset as regards the issue of life. You know, it's not about because, and I told the person the objective of this class, the objective of this program, that if we're able to do this, now we want to affect the lives of many people to start thinking differently, to start believing that success can be truly attained, to start believing that whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve it. To tell people that mindset is all that matters to tell people that you can assume the moment you start assuming responsibility will be the beginning of great things that will start happening in your life so see it is necessary that we are to be accountable so ladies and gentlemen we are accountable and we're taking responsibility for all that happened every single day we are here monday to friday broadcasting giving the best of nuggets out to you uh, from 9 a.m. to 9.15, almost sometimes to 9.20, every single day. How do we do it? Sometimes we don't sleep. Sometimes we got to be in the library. Sometimes we got to study all night. Sometimes we avoid distraction. It is easy, but we are doing this just to help you and to ensure that you're living the very best of your life. So another thing, again, I want to share with you, maybe just relating it to a story of a child. You know, sometimes I believe parents can actually relate to this story, right? Now, it is a story of, you know, when you see a parent, you know, especially a mother will understand this much more, more better, you know, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, when giving birth, right? When the mother gives birth and, uh, you know, the child, uh, you know, cannot do anything. The child will say, I can't be responsible for myself. You know, I can't clean myself. I can't beat myself. I can't feed myself. Uh, I can't do anything. I am depend. You know, I, I I am depending on my mother. I'm depending on my parent to do all these things. So the parent assumes responsibility for that particular child. The parent at that point have to assume responsibility to nurture the child, to, to, to bathe the child, to feed the child, to clean the child, to ensure that the child doesn't go to where, uh, you know, the, the harmful places, to the safer places, to ensure the child as the child is growing up. So that is what the child is gonna tell, you know, the parent, you know, though the child can talk, but he's gonna tell the parent, you guys are responsible for me. So at a point in our life, we are also, uh, going to be depending on some certain person to learn and understand how the issues of life work right so remember also as the child is growing up give you the give i mean let's 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 look at maybe at the age of 12 for example as the child is the age of 12 now the child will if if, if, if the parent comes to the child guess what it's going to change a little bit because the child will say mommy daddy leave me alone i can take care of myself i believe every parent can relate to this I can take care of myself. Leave me alone. I can bait myself. I can feed myself. I can, you know, even though if the, if the child is not even that well enough, it's going to say, daddy, leave me alone. I can do this. I can do that. I can, you know, because he or she felt like I am responsible. I can take care of me for me. So imagine that. Now, it means that there's in every life, uh, there are some point in our life where we have to depend on people. And there are some point where we have to assume responsibility where we have to be accountable. I hope you can relate to that. So we need to start telling ourselves, I don't want to blame anybody for my success. I don't want to blame anybody for all that is happening to me. So another thing I want to share with us here is that responsibility is a price of greatness. Responsibility is a price of greatness. That is what uh, Winston Churchill actually shared anyway. He said, responsibility is a sign of greatness. When you assume responsibility, it means you are, you know, gradually are moving in, in a very, in, in a good manner, like I put it, in a good manner, and then eventually you will see that greatness can be fast attained, right? It means that greatness can be fast attained. You open to become, uh, you know, an extraordinary force in a particular uh, uh, field. And you need to say, uh, when I assume this responsibility, 
is a surprise of greatness because you're not going to know that it is a, a, a price that will eventually lead you to greatness. But when you take it, I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it is a price to greatness. How does it lead you to greatness? You are doing it. You are sacrificing yourself. Like on this program, ladies and gentlemen, we know where we're going. We know how we want to reach out to larger people. We know the ultimate goal is to affect thousands of people all over the world, especially here in this part of the world. We want people to have a different philosophy. We want people to have a different mindset. Now, the question is, can the government do it? They're not going to be able to do it. The question is, uh, you know, can companies say, oh, we, we want to do it? No. But we have to do it. Somebody have to do it. You know, when we had that strategic planning and you know uh, things before starting this program, I share with my co-host, Coach Dan, share with my wife, and we were like, okay, is it possible? Is it doable? We knew the cost. We know what it take us. That is gonna you know take us to be able to you know start sharing, start giving much value to people out there. So it isn't easy. All right. So we already know it. We knew where we're going. We already see the picture. We already knew that it's going to affect the lives of other people. You know, Coach Dan was you know, shared with me just this past weekend of the kind of program he went for, talking about the child welfare. I saw the video. Uh, it was it was it was uh, interview live on uh, I think uh, Star uh, Star. You know, I think it was uh, City FM uh, 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.51 FM, and he was talking about the child welfare. He was talking about how parent has to be responsible for their child, for the upbringing of their child. How you don't have to depend on nanny. How you don't have to depend on people to help you to your responsibility. It is basically what it is, right? So it is a price of greatness. Now you can doing this thing you nurture the child you ensure that the child grows in the way of the lord and then eventually you will reap the good most parents have actually you know abandoned their child they don't even assume responsibility that is why when we go out there we see most of these children uh they, they became so wayward some of them don't even listen they can't even do anything you see we have left the things that we need to do you start looking for who to blame you start thinking of blaming that nanny you start thinking of blaming that uncle that sister is that your sister or that your uh, niece that stayed with you or that help you to to you know watch over your kid so why are you going to blame somebody when you need to know that you are the cause of everything so ladies and gentlemen it is very important so responsibility it's a big, big price of greatness. It's a big, big price of greatness. So also know that, you know, uh, when you assume responsibility, it means that you are accepting the consequences of your actions. You are assuming the consequences of your actions. Now, to tell yourself, I will be, I know that whatever happened here, I am responsible. Whatever happened as a result of this thing I want to get involved in, I am responsible. We have assumed the consequences of all that will come up as a result of doing this podcast. We knew what it is. We knew that it's going to cost us this. We knew it's going to cost us that. We knew it's going to cost us this. But we already, we knew these things before we started. We had a strategic planning uh, uh, on this before we even start to do this program. All right? So we know that as we, 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 we accepted the consequences of the actions. We accepted the consequences of the effect that this is going to have in the lives of people watching and listening. So ladies and gentlemen, start assuming and knowing that you are responsible for it. I am responsible for all that is going to happen as a result of what I am getting myself involved in. All right. So you know what you are into right now. You know the things that you are doing. You know the job you are getting out there. You know the, 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 the academics or the, 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 the stuff you're doing in your school at the moment. You know what you're doing. You know the kind of program, the kind of business you're getting yourself in. Start telling yourself, I will, and I'm, I'm responsible for me. You know, we, we don't like to be responsible for anything. We like to always blame people. We, we like to blame that lecturer. We like to blame that boss. We like to, in fact, uh, yesterday, I decided to, I, I, I think I, I, the one Uber taxi picked me up 
from the place I went because I had my wife drop me off and the Uber taxi that tried to, you know, I took a Uber and the guy, you know, we were just having a very uh, good talk in the, in the Uber and uh, the guy was telling me and he said, you know, he works for ICO insurance before and uh, he said his boss fired him and they had to sack him. And, you know, asked him a question. I said, if you had the opportunity of going back, uh, would you want to? He said, yes. And, you know, and it's not the same person because he's now age, he's an accountant. And he said, you know, you know why? during the course of our discussion, I realized, and he actually affirmed and confessed that he's the one that, you know, he can't control his anger, that he's the one that misbehave and talk some nasty things. And I'm like, okay, it's even good that you know you are the one that talks some nasty things. But he wanted to share the blame, but I made him understand and say, you might need to work on yourself. You know, he knew that he's more responsible for his own consequences. And I said, if you had the opportunity of getting back that job, is it something you want to do? The man said, yes, it's something, but he, he doesn't think that that boss can help him. And this same boss is a bigger guy now in that same organization. But guess what? He doesn't have that relationship with that man again, but he has assumed that responsibility. And I'm glad he has done that because that will help him. Otherwise, if he start blaming that boss, he will not move and he will not even be driving no Uber taxi. So he has assumed it and his life is getting better. Maybe the nature, which is almighty God, can have mercy on him and give him another job. So ladies and gentlemen, let's start assuming it. So when you start accepting the consequences of your action, two things will come up. Now, first know that you look to yourself up to everything, all right? You're looking up to yourself for everything. You know that I will do whatever it takes. Don't think that somebody is out there to help you. Don't think that somebody is out there to be of favor to you. Look simply onto yourself for everything. And then second one is that you now decide to say, I am assuming command. I am the captain in charge. I am the pilot or the captain to pilot this ship or to pilot this airplane into that destination. You need to know this. So you have this thing in your mind. At the moment you have it in your mind, then you now know that it is not what happened that determines uh, it is not what happened that determines how your life turned out around. It is what you have done that, that it is what you have done with what has happened to you that determines how your life will turn out around. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've got value again this morning. I hope you know that you can actually live an extraordinary lifestyle. So, if you have got value, I uh, you need to also ensure that somebody out there it's also getting value as a result of what we do. You know, when we start sharing, when we start having more uh, folks, uh, you know, listen to the same thing over and over, uh, it's also to assume responsibility. Maybe that is your own quota to contribute to somebody out there, your friend out there, you know, to humanity, to this country, all right? Nobody's gonna change our country. Nobody's gonna change our society, but we, we assume responsibility. We assume responsibility to start doing this podcast, you know, without any business attachment of what's so kind, uh, just completely free. And all it costs you is to get some data on your mobile devices and then connect to this thing and start listening. And then what you listen to will eventually uh, play a dominant role on what uh, over your life, and then you start seeing that things that you think is hard, it wouldn't be hard, uh, they're not even hard after all. And that is what we do. All right, guys. So thank you for staying put. It's about the time. We'll call it a wrap this morning. Again, we're going to be back here tomorrow morning. Remember the time is 9 a.m. West African time. So you check your own time zone and then be able to set it to 9 a.m. West African time and then connect with us on this West Secret Mindset Mentorship uh, class, all right? It is a class that we educate, enrich, and equip you with all the necessary resources and information that will empower you mentally to live the very best of your life. And we hope that you will stay connected and also share it. Subscribe to our YouTube page, like and subscribe, share it to others, let them be blessed. And then that is how you start assuming responsibility and you also share things, good things to people. All right. Thank you, guys. Uh, 